Hey, Sal. Hello, Britt. I have a challenge for you because I, I heard you have some kind of predictive powers. You're a bit of a magician. There might be some truth to that. Limited truth. Well, I want to <laughs> test it. I want to test it out. Um, what I did is I filled this black bucket with a certain number mm -hmm. of white and black beads. And I All know right. what you're going to say. I'm going to prove to you that I have both white and black. Okay. So here's the white. White. No tricky business here. I'm, I'm a bit of a math ma mm. uh, magician myself. Math magician. Math magician. And here's a dark. Dark. So so they both exist. You know, I'm wondering, you, you could touch it. You could, you could mm. do whatever you want. You can't look inside of it. You, can, mm. you could touch I it. I can scratch though. it. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Whatever Tickle you want to do. Tickle it. Is there more white or black? Eh, that's that's my first question. Mm. Could you just guess if there's more or less? And could you even I tell me? I refuse to guess. You won't even play? Because I don't know. You just showed me two more. I know there's at least one white and at least one black. But I don't want to show you what's in here. So what? So can I? Can I? Can I? Can I take some out? Can I? Can I do it? Um, how about I do it? Because I don't trust. I think you might know the marbles, or you might be looking in the thing when you pick it out. Okay. Because I, I want. I want it to be randomly selected. Black. So can I do it again? Oh, you can do it again. But we're gonna put the bead back in. Okay. No, that's fair. Okay. My eyes are closed. White. This is fascinating. So in 10 tries, I got five black and I got five whites. So once again, I, I, I wouldn't bet my, my, my life savings on this because once again, this might have been just the way I happened to pick it. But if I had to guess, I would say that you have an equal number of white and black. So that's your guess and your that's ratio? Although if you let me, it, well, I would say one to one. For every white, there's a black. I would okay. guess well, whatever, it, half of those are white, half of those are black. Now, I could very well be wrong. Okay, show, 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 show us what's going on. I got you there. We have two and four. Oh, so the correct one is, wow, I, I was, I had, I had two whites for every black, huh? The ratio was two to one. So, so at I, the beginning, mm -hmm. you were actually very close. I was spot on at the on. beginning. And that's why I think the more trials, perhaps less likely that you're going to get it correct. Which is why I don't I even know why you with wanted that. to select I in the disagree first place. with that. I think that the more trials, it just happened that it it kind of took me off the the right path this time. But I think if I did that more times than not, it would get me closer to the right answer. 